Picture this, holding a phone in your hand that isn't just a phone, not just a foldable, but something that bends reality itself. A device that folds once, folds twice, and suddenly you're staring at a screen so big it feels like a tablet escaped your backpack and jumped right into your pocket. Sounds unreal, right? Well, Samsung's about to make that sigh, Phi moment real with its first ever trifold smartphone, and the way this story is unfolding might just shake up the entire industry. Welcome back viewers, Sam here. If you love diving into the future of tech with me, don't forget to like this video, subscribe, and hit the bell so you don't miss out on the wildest updates happening right now. Samsung has been teasing this mysterious trifold since early 2025, but now the leaks and insider reports are pointing to something far more real than just a prototype. At first, the whispers were almost disappointing. Rumors that it would be locked away in only South Korea and China but new certifications and production details suggest this phone could spread further than anyone expected. And that's where things get really interesting. Forget the old Galaxy G Fold name people threw around. What Samsung is actually cooking up is sleeker, sharper, and bold enough to cost a staggering 3,000,000. ,000. And here's the catch. This isn't designed to sell millions of units overnight. Nope, this is Samsung flexing, proving it can still own the foldable crown after rivals stole the spotlight. Let's talk design. Folded up, you get a 6.5 inch outer display that feels familiar, almost like carrying a standard phone. But the moment you unfold it, twice, the screen stretches into a giant 10 inch canvas. That's a mini tablet in your pocket, perfect for gaming, watching Netflix, or, or juggling three apps at once like you're in some futuristic productivity lab. Inside, Samsung is arming it with the Snapdragon 8 Elite chip, basically a powerhouse brain built for heavy multitasking and console level graphics. Cameras, a 200 MP main sensor that can capture insane detail backed up by a telephoto and ultra wide combo. On paper, it's beastly, but here's the twist. Battery life might be the Achilles heel. Less than five 500 ml esh to run all that hardware and dual displays. Yeah, that could spark some controversy. And then there's Hawaii lurking in the background, already pulling bold moves. Their Mate XT Trifold grabbed attention last year, and they just followed up with a second gen model, dropping the price and flaunting a Z shaped fold design. So the stage isn't empty. Samsung's not first this time, but timing matters. Because here's the truth Samsung's foldable market share has taken a nosedive, slipping down to just 9% while Huawei and even Motorola are climbing ahead. This trifold isn't just another gadget. It's Samsung's play to remind the world why they started the foldable revolution in the first place. With only 50,000 units planned at launch, it's not about mass sales. It's about showing muscle, reclaiming headlines, and proving they still lead when it comes to design breakthroughs. And the timing couldn't be sharper. Analysts say that if the Galaxy Z Fold 7 keeps its momentum and this trifold lands in the right markets, Samsung could spark a serious comeback in the second half of the year. The big question is, will people actually pay $3,000 for a phone that folds twice? Or will it just become a collector's flex piece for early adopters and tech fanatics? Either way, this is the kind of launch that makes tech exciting again. Not just another camera bump, not just a faster chip, but a whole new form factor that changes how we use our devices. And something tells me this is only the beginning. So what do you think? Would you drop three grand for a trifold phone or wait until the second wave when the tech matures and prices fall? Let me know in the comments because this is one of those debates that could shape the future of mobile.